I'm Mike Hardigan. Thanks for joining me today. I'd like to talk today about a piano lick that I believe is really one of the essential parts of New Orleans piano playing, and now it can be heard in all different styles of piano, from blues to boogie-woogie to rock and roll and even country music. You'll hear this lick. So here's the lick. And the, the main component of it is this movement. And it, it snaps quickly, but what it is, is it starts, it doesn't have to start on the third of a chord, but I usually start it on, if I'm playing a C chord, I start it on the third of the chord, which is E, up to the fifth, and then roll back down to the fifth, an octave below the top one. So, so what gives it its signature sound is it, it starts in the middle, rolls upward, and then right back down. And I first heard it in uh, a song I talked about a couple of videos ago, the sock hop midi file, which, you know, it begins... And so on. Um, and that just uh, immediately pulled me in. So it's, it's a real quick snappy motion, and I'll show you the, the lick in context, because it's used like this in a lot of situations. So starting on the, uh, the G and the C, down to the G, C, and then F and A, and now we have a grace note sliding from the E flat into the E. So the, here's the beginning. And then when you hit that E, that's the first note of the lick. So that's, that's, that's the beginning. And then to finish it out, we go. So we're on the G, and then we go down to F with a C on top. And then slide from E flat to E, also with the C on top. And what that's implying is the harmony. F back to C. And that's a great way to use it, but there are other possibilities. You don't have to start on the third, like I said, you could start on C. Or just so the the rolling up and down motion is is really what we're looking for. I've also seen it done like this, so not even outlining a, a chord exactly, but you could you could outline a seventh chord with it or a minor seventh chord. So the, the possibilities are really endless, but it's um, it's a great lick. So that really is a ubiquitous lick. It's heard everywhere. It's all throughout the playing of Professor Longhair and Dr. John and all the pianists they've influenced. And it can be used in a bunch of other styles to really spice things up. And... Let me know if you've been listening to something and you've heard that lick somewhere unexpected or if you play piano and you use it um, in an interesting place. I'd love to hear about that too. And any general music or piano questions, just uh, stick them in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if this is your first time watching, don't forget to subscribe. I have weekly piano videos coming out and I'd love to share them with you. Uh, that's it for today. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching.